So today I'm going to take you guys shopping with me and I'm going to show you how many things you can get with $5,000 in St. Anne. The first stop is Blake's Water Store. This is in the Nutsford Express Business Center in Drax Hall. I come here to refill my five gallon water bottles and I have two of them. So my total here is $800. This is St. Anne's Bay and I'm on the way to the supermarket. The supermarket I like to shop in is called Tie Down Supermarket and as you can tell by the name, it's owned by Asians. The Asians have a lot of business places here in St. Anne, just like in downtown Kingston. The first thing I'm grabbing is some cat food because my cat needs some of that. I'm also getting some jasmine rice. I'm getting some sugar here for my porridge. I'm getting some chickpeas. I still have some left, but I'm getting more. And I'm getting about six packs of oats because I use this to make both porridge and smoothie. I'll use like one pack of this for each day. I'm also getting three packs of peanuts and those go into my smoothies. I'm getting some sea salt, some dishwashing liquid, some fab soap to wash my clothes. And I'm getting some tissue and a hand towel for the bathroom. This is what my cart is looking like right now and I'm going to go to the cashier. $4,011. As you can see, my $5,000 is pretty much maxed out because I already spent $800 at the water store. But stick around and see what happens. I still have a few items that I want to get. From this lady, I'm getting skeleton on thyme, onion and tomatoes to season my pot. And then from this man, I'm getting carrots and cucumber to make juice. Yeah, I'm dead. Like, oh, I'm Yeah, I'm going to make a YouTube video to show people how much things we can get with how much money. But I don't pass the amount of money when I do something, I'm going to show them already. I'm going to pass the amount of money. Yeah. How much is this? Pound. Pound of carrots. Now I'm going to get some fruits. Pound and a half. A little bit more than. Gold. That's a four and a half. Ten half to me. Nine. It's your cent half, baby. They said them for come buy pepper sauce yeah. from you. Cent half, yeah. Farmer sell it. Farm. Gan gargan. Cry cry. They look fresh too. Yeah, they fresh. So you just make them? Yeah, I'm going to make them. Yeah. So I'm going to make them. Just keep them too long and right nice. So just now I'm going to collect three too. Collect three dozen. Yeah. So these are 15 bills? 15 and 3. Yeah, 18 yeah. bills. Plot twist, I was not able to spend just $5,000. By the time I got out of the supermarket, I already had like $4,000 worth of stuff. Chickpeas is $490. Why did I think chickpeas did cost less than that? Cat food was $450. Jasmine rice was $635. And those were the ones that costed the most or that had the biggest price. And the reason why I'm looking over this is because I would usually buy around this amount of food and be able to spend like $3,000. These are all the things that I got. I'm 
All right, so let me see you now. $4,000 in the supermarket. Then I spent $800 at the lady who gave me the skeleton and stuff. Then I spent $800 at the water store. Carrot was $250, cucumber was $400. So that's our $650. My add that $650. And then I spent $1,800 to get the fruits. So I spent $8,050 in total to get all of these items. Got mostly oats. I got like six packs of oats. Get three packs of peanuts and then we get like seasoning so we can cook. And I got fruits so I can juice. Cucumber was super important. I got two pounds of cucumber because this is in all of my juices. And I got carrots as well because I like to put carrots in my juice. Then I got two rolls of tissue i already have one left but i like to have more than one because you never know what will happen i prefer to stack up on that than anything else and then i have hand towel because hand towel is super important for me i only have one in the kitchen right now so i'm going to put one in the bathroom as well and i got my cat some food watch this video next for a tour of my house